back in America. Soil for the first time. Four months, just landed in St. George on a 22 hour trip. It's been a long, long time since I've been home. I need a Swig drink, Chick-fil-A, and more importantly, I need to see Hobbs. That's all gonna happen. But first, I gotta rent a car because I sold my truck. That sucks. One of the things I'm not looking forward to. Well, definitely not in the Roush. No 750 horsepower in this, although I got a pretty good deal, so I'm not gonna be too mad about it. It's hot. St. George, Utah. Left this place over four months ago. We've been traveling, but I'm back. Back for a few days. I'm gonna take you guys with me. We gotta pick up hobs. We got doctor's appointments. We gotta go look at a house. I basically put my whole life in a storage unit, sold what I could, packed what I couldn't away, went and traveled the world with Morgan and Alec. They're currently in Mexico because Morgan can't get into the United States. It's a whole K-1 visa thing we've been talking about if you've been on my channel so i'll be meeting up with them in mexico in cabo san lucas in a week so by the time you guys see this video i should be in cabo fingers crossed knock on wood let's go all right the first stop maybe some of you guys thought it was gonna be picking up hobbs but i'm actually waiting to film picking him up because my sister wants to be there and she's at an appointment so i gave her an hour uh, i'm actually here at one of my favorite spots in st george it's swig around the world there's great coffees but you can't find diet sodas especially diet dr pepper in other countries with sugar-free vanilla and sugar-free coconut so i'm here fixing get my fixing in of soda and it's gonna be delicious and i got 32 ounces of pure bliss so don't at me. so excited for this thank you for steve perfect thank you thank you yep let's go it's been so long since i've had one of these i'm so excited eight count grilled nugget grilled chicken sandwich added bacon on there you can see the bacon and pickles it's my jam okay it's my jam with a little bit of uh, honey barbecue on top. I know what you guys are saying. Steve, you can get chicken sandwiches anywhere in the world. Not like Chick-fil-A, you can't. Not with Chick-fil-A sauce, you can't. If you don't believe me, just ask Morgan. Poor girl, probably take her one when I go to Mexico. Get in me. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Cheers for this. Next stop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go surprise my nieces with a little bit of money for watching Hobbs. They've been good to them. Four months with Hobbs, not an easy, easy thing. He's a pretty needy dog, but I am gonna enjoy this first. Next stop, still haven't got hops, is fitness culture. We're here at the gym. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say hi to everyone. Haven't been here, obviously, in over four, four months and like five days, 18 hours, 32 minutes. I'm, heck, I'm not counting. Need to go get some things in the office that have been sent here. So we're gonna go in and say hi to everyone. And I'm leaving the car on because it's really hot and I have my phone charging because it had died. How are you? I'm back. I'm back. Didn't even get recognized by the front desk. Have been gone that long. I'm so sorry. We got the culture products here. They're looking good. Everything's good? Yeah, great. Right. How are you, man? Good. I'm Steve. Oh, you're Steve Cook. Yeah, nice to meet you. That thing's dope. What is that? Is that the cape? Yeah. That's sick. How are you guys? Did you get in? Uh, this morning. Oh, really? Yeah. What time? I haven't even seen Hobbs yet. Oh, really? I got I got here at like 11.40. Oh, Jazz on the house. I'm sweating. Wait, are you, are you Steve? I am. Hey, Dave, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, so nice to meet you. The person you really want to meet is her. She's nice to meet the you. biggest fan of you. Where are you guys from? Yeah. Philly. I'm just filming a YouTube right now. You guys want to say hi? All the way from Philly? All the way from Philly. Oh, this is my first time back in this gym in like four plus months. Yeah, you've yeah, been yeah, traveling, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got back today, so it's been a That's crazy awesome. day. <laughs> How are you guys like in St. George? Oh, we love, love it. it. We've we love been here. it. This was our first We're stop. Wait, did you, did, did you guys message about nice place, healthy places to eat? My favorite place in St. George is Wood Ash and Rye. If you're looking for like a kind of a fancier spot, but okay. I'm bad. I, I do Chick, <laughs> I do Chick Fil A. I do teriyaki madness and I do oh, that uh, delicious. Yeah, teriyaki madness is good and then I do Chipotle. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I'm a Chipotle fan. I'm kinda lame, but it's I'm big okay. I'm a big I already had Chick-fil-A, you guys saw that. Leaving fitness culture. The gym is up, running, it's looking good. Not that I had a fear in the world that it wouldn't. Jake runs it even when I'm in town. So everything's good. Got what I needed to from the office. It's actually a uh, Hobbs' bowl for his food and water. Now I am going to go see him and I really am planning on scaring him. I I don't know how, but like, we're gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm, I don't wanna go into my sister's house to see him. I want her to like take him on a walk and then jump out of a bush. I'm an awful human being, but I kinda wanna just surprise him. It has been a long time. I'm outside my sister's house. I just messaged her to let out Hobbs. I'm gonna go behind a bush, try to scare him. I miss, I miss this guy. I'm saying is I could basically travel nonstop if I had Hobbs and Morgan with me. Oh, I'm getting a little bit emotional. I'm getting a little bit emotional. There he is. There he is over there. Oh, hi, bud. 
We're gonna go see you. Hi. Hi, bud. Hi. 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 How you doing? How you doing? Hi. 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 How you doing, Bubba? Yeah. Hi. Hi. You're just, you're so little. Yeah, he, well, I was hiding behind the bushes and he got scared. Hi, man. Hi! Hi! Yeah! Hi, girlies! Hi! Hi! Hi, Nugget! Oh my goodness gracious! You're just, you're smaller than I even remember you, man! Hey! Come here! Sit! He did that! Tommy. Good boy! Did he do it? Yeah, Kelly, and sit! He, Good boy! And he, and he can roll over! Polly's oh, let's roll see! Okay! Come here! Okay, sit! Get him! Oh, yeah, get him! Get him, get him, Paul! Oh, what's wrong? No, sit. Sit. Down. Roll over. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I know. I know. What? I just did so many. All right, guys. Good morning, good morning. It's about 7 a.m. I'm walking into the hospital. One of the other reasons I came home was to do my yearly in-depth physical, which is like in-depth, you know, two max. All of this, basically blood work and everything else, bod pod. Um, I do it once a year. I haven't done it in like two years, so I'm doing it. Here's, I'm gonna take you along and we're gonna test my fitness level. It's a good place to start. I am starting a new workout program too to try to improve my bench press. So um, just a good starting, like, hey, let's do this body fat, everything else, and I'm heading up to Mexico tomorrow morning. So it's like a four hour test. First things first, blood work. So we're uh, basically testing whole, whole full blood panel. So we got four vials to fill up with blood. All right, room number two. It's like, I go to each door and it's like, what's behind this door? <laughs> we got the bod pod. Let's get into it. Test the body fat. I'm this much yeah. under six one. Yeah. All right, we're about to jump in the bod pod right now, get the spandex on, the hat on, making sure there's no loose clothing that you can get mistaken for fat. Okay. Each 45 seconds. All right, just sit still. Yep, breathe normally. All right. Any guesses? Any guesses? I'm saying, All right. I don't know, 10%. Oh, damn, it's not good. 14.6? I've never been that high. 14%? Mm -mm, can't have that. And I can't be 209 pounds. We gotta increase that too. So we got some work to do. Okay, now that we got the body fat out of the way, we're now doing the resting metabolic rate. This is actually gonna help when it comes to really seeing how many, um, how well you're doing with metabolizing food and everything like that, right? Like how much you basically burn at a standstill. If you didn't do any exercise, this is how much you'd. Over the, the test for the metabolic rate right now. This is actually very good. So you have 2,318 calories. Just to live, do nothing. If I sat on a couch in bed all day, that's that's actually pretty good. That's very good. So actually you're a little bit quicker than normal. So oh, okay. they give you about a 10% range of yeah. normal and yours is about 13 faster than what they predicted for your sex age height. And okay, weight. all right, I'll take it. it. Makes me happy. And it would be about 3,252 calories for your total To energy. maintain my, if I'm doing that, to maintain my weight and everything else which is Just about when I do a cut when I get ready to do a show or something I, I start at about 32 and I and then I go down to about 2800 eventually after but that's of course being in a deficit to try to lose body fat for a show so that makes sense VO2 max time got my chest strap on I still don't act on actually activated my whoop too because I wanted to see how accurate compared to the more accurate trust chest strap so basically I'm gonna get on this treadmill we're gonna Keep the speed the same and then increase elevation, intensity essentially, until I tap out. Whew. VO2 max done. 51 was my score, which is down from 55 from three years ago. So you want a higher VO2 max. Kind of expected with the travels and then getting COVID about six months ago. So I would say I'm okay with it. I'm not happy with it, but I'm okay with it. Next up we have push-ups till failure. Chest goes down, hits the towel. All the way up. Let me see how we do here. Can I rest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. <sighs> I 
think it was 60. 60. Right? Yeah, that's what I got. Okay, well, did the run, felt a little nauseous, then did the push ups, still felt nauseous. Then we did the sit ups, sit -ups. sit ups, push ups, I did 60 to failure. And then sit ups, it was just in a minute, did 45. And then I went and threw up four times. I lost my entire breakfast. I haven't thrown up from a workout maybe five or six years ago on a crazy, crazy squat day, but I didn't even throw up in football practice conditioning for some reason. Just got super nauseous here today. And yeah, filled up, basically I filled up the bathroom trash can ah! with roll. -up. It was absolutely rancid, really nasty. Just glad I'm not throwing up anymore because that was rough. I'm gonna do a little driving while vlogging. I'm just in a very slow 10 mile an hour residential neighborhood. So don't get mad at me. Overall, it was a really good baseline of where I was at. I'm kind of mad I only did 60 push-ups and 45 sit-ups. Um, and then the wall sit, after after I ran, I was ready to throw up, but I had to do those other things. So it wasn't my best performance on that, but hey, it's again, it's a starting place. Things picked up that pins and aces sent me, like this glove I will be taking to Mexico, and this glove that I'll be wearing 4th of July, but some very cool stuff that I absolutely love. But right now is probably what I'm most excited for about this whole video. And that is my international scout that it has taken about two years to build. I started, actually bought it when I was on the at the Biggest Loser set. It was kind of like my presence myself for doing the Biggest Loser. I yeah, restored and I get to see it today for the first time. I'm so excited. I picked out the color, did everything, worked with Sean King in LA. I'm gonna link him here. I'm gonna do a whole video with the scout, but right now, I'm just gonna do my initial reaction video. Holy shit. Turned out way better than I thought. And the scout is right there. Oh my goodness. The coolest car I think I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I'm gonna do a whole video. This thing is cool. I'm gonna do a whole video regarding everything about this scout. But right now I'm just dying to get into it. Oh my goodness gracious. Again, I don't want to show too much. I am so excited about this. I leave to Mexico in the morning. It's been a very productive trip back, all capped off with this bad boy. It got in from LA this morning. Take it for a test drive, but you guys won't see it. You guys aren't gonna see it until I get back from Mexico and I can do a proper video on it all. Hi. <laughs> Hey, can you sit? Oh, wait, wait, sit? Uh-uh, hey, no, don't you talk back. Don't you talk back, don't you talk back. Hey, sit, hey, sit. Oh, hey, 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 I know, you're like, Dad, I haven't seen you in four months, and now you're telling me to sit. Oh my gosh, you didn't like that. <laughs> 